Um, with Easter and Passover recently uh, uh, happening, it, it made me start wondering, is it possible to be a good Christian and also be a member of the Republican Party? And the answer is absolutely not. Those two things really are mutually exclusive. There is no overlap between being a good Christian and being a member of the Republican Party. Now, if you're not a Christian, sure, absolutely, the Republican Party is the best place for you to go because it is a completely immoral, unethical garbage heap that doesn't care about anything or anyone unless you've got millions of dollars and even more so if you have billions of dollars. But I, I, I woke up on Easter morning and I'm looking on Facebook and I'm seeing all these posts from people that I'm friends with, went to high school with about happy Easter, he is risen, uh, Christ the Redeemer and all that crap. And I also see these people talk shit about Democrats on, on Facebook and talk about why Trump is actually doing a really great job and he is a good Christian. No, he's not. <laughs> he's absolutely not. And you're lying to yourself if you think that Donald Trump has any bit of Christianity inside of him. I guarantee you the idiot couldn't even tell you what the 10 commandments are. He probably couldn't even name two or three out of all of the apostles. But that's the problem with the religious right here in the United States. They vote based on their religion but not even just their religion. They, base, they vote based on one issue that their religion, their warped view of Christianity tells them they should vote based on. And that's abortion. Every religious right voter in this country votes based on abortion. Show me one that doesn't. Show me one that says, yeah, well, you know, the Democrats want abortion, but I'm gonna vote for them anyway because we have this psychopath philanderer talking about grabbing women by the pussy. And as a Christian, I can't vote for that. Yeah, they didn't do that. They voted for the pussy grabber instead of the person who says a woman should have the right to choose with their body. And that same person who thinks women should have the right to choose also believes that we should take care of the less fortunate in this country. The Republicans don't do that. And I guarantee you, because I've read the book, there's a lot more passages in the Bible about taking care of the less fortunate and providing care for the sick and the elderly than there is about abortion. There's also plenty of lines about slavery and things like that, but we'll save that for a different day. Bottom line is this, you can't be a Christian and also be a Republican because everything that the Republican party stands for goes against every single thing in that Bible. And if you want to call yourself a Christian, then you need to look at what's going on with this Republican party and ask yourself where in the Bible does it say that any of this garbage, any of this nonsense is actually acceptable? Because I promise you, you're not going to find it. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.